everyone. This is Crystal, Crystal Lynn Astrology, coming to you from Southern California. I want to say hello this morning. I want to thank you all for your messages, your comments below, and your readings that you're booking. So thank you guys. Just so you know, right out the gate, I do offer readings and I can customize and specialize them for you. You can check out my website below. Let's get that out of the way real quick because some of you have been asking if I do readings and yes, I do. And um, they're one-on-one, -on -one, one hour personal readings that I record for you where I do actually talk to you and um, I can answer all your specific questions and we can talk about a lot in an hour. You'd be amazed. Okay, guys. So what is going on up in the sky right now? Sun is still in Capricorn at 29 degrees. We're at the last degree. I am so ready for Aquarius. I am so ready. You know, Capricorn has been really hard on me. I trained horses my whole life and I have played sports my whole life and I was hard on my body my whole life. I'm very fortunate that at my age I'm in such good shape because years of horse training and being dumped and stepped on and knocked over, you know, it's taken a lot for me to keep myself just standing <laughs> nowadays. But the good news is, is that, you know, that Saturn in Capricorn really showed me, brought to the surface all of these serious aches and pains and issues I had. And so it allowed me to actually deal with them. And so now, two and a half years later, going through the pain, I'm walking, I'm riding, I'm swimming, I'm doing, and I'm back to myself, what I've always done. So that's where moving out of a more intense energy into a more positive and with Aquarius, it's all about movement, quick movement, going here, going there. Don't get stagnant. A lot of exercise. If you're feeling really pinned up right now, put on one of those like old Jane Fonda <laughs> exercise programs or an old Susan Powder or something funny and or whatever and exercise right now because the universe is not letting us move forward yet. So we're kind of in this suspended state and it's like we're running and standing in place. So if you feel like you're walking 100 miles or you're doing just go, 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 you can't stop. There's a reason. And it's the energy coming through you. And this is very karmic energy. It's very shamanic energy. This is download, especially for those of you who are and have the opportunity to get out into these areas where there's mountains and, and these portals. You may not know where they are, but these spiritual portals go all up and down the coast of Southern California. And when you get to tap into those things, I mean, you just it just generates your life and it really can open you up. But you have to be open because if you're not and you're holding back, then, you know, you don't want stuck energy when you're in those positive flowing places. Because they're, they're like, what do you call those, like blowholes. And they'll just blow that blockage right out of there, which I love. All right, you guys, let's, let's dive into this. <clears throat> and I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on. This is my um, David Gray, one of my favorite card decks. My angels and ancestors, just oracle cards. All of these, all of this is, or these are cards just to help us read the energy around us so we can become aware. It's a form of meditation. It's a form of just saying, is there anything, and just, and just kind of trusting the energy of the universe, a little bit of faith that what is it going to be? What do I need to hear? Is there something special for me and me only? So, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have that darn phone ringing in the background. I don't know where it is. Here it is. Hold on, guys. It's my son. <laughs> I'll call him back. All right, Aries. My Aries son, by the way. Okay, for you, my son. Ah, Father Sky. Trust in the unknown. So there's something big coming, Aries. You guys have been through a lot. We talked about that the last six months with Mars and Scorpio. So there's a time to trust. Ooh, Father Sky. That is like God himself intervening in your life and opening the doors for you. Like God himself. <laughs> or herself, <laughs> however you want to look at it these days, I guess, right? Okay, Taurus, we've got the White Witch. Be the light. Be the light. Now, this came up reversed, so you may not be being the light right now. What is going on, Taurus? What is going on in your life? Because if you're doing some things behind the scenes that aren't quite right, but you're using spiritual tools, you have to be really careful. Okay, so there'd be spiritual tools, earth tools can be beautiful, but in the wrong hands and with the wrong intentions, they just can be dangerous. So you have to really understand what you're doing, and it's a process of learning. It's just like learning a whole new skill set and reading energy 
um, is just a, is a process. So if, you know, if you just make sure you're underground and you're really feeling witchy, um, <laughs> somebody, you're just feeling really connected, then um, just make sure, just make sure your intentions are right. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, oh, I love her. She's the shield maiden. And she's like, make plans and focus, Gemini. So it's really telling you there's one sword here and there's one shield. So it's like, yeah, there's that twins right there. But it's like, protect yourself right now, Gemini. There's a lot of things that might be coming at you as you're making some big changes in your life. So it's just telling you to be protective. Okay, be protective today. Just be on guard. Be aware. Be aware. That's all it is. Oh, and guess what? Cancer. <laughs> we got our witch and she flipped upright. I'm not kidding. I, I wish I should try to shuffle these higher. She flipped upright. Remember I said she was reversed for Taurus, Cancer? So, ooh, ooh, witchy woman. <laughs> all right, Leo. I'll let you, Cancer, kind of decide where that applies to you. It's a spiritual card. All right, Leo. <clears throat> this is our air guardian. And this is, you need a shift in your perspe perception. So here's where thinking. You might have a lot on your mind here, Leo. Allow yourself that shift in perception. Whatever you're perceiving it to be, allow yourself to look at it from a different angle if you can. Okay? All right, Virgo. These cards are a little bigger. I'm not as warmed up this morning. I had a ponytail in my hair, but it just fell out. So <laughs> I can't always be fabulous, right? <laughs> okay. Virgo. Virgo, you have the eagle. See from the higher perspective. Okay. And I think you are. And I think for, for myself, I know I've talked about it. And I'm just sharing some of my experiences. But that's what I keep doing every morning is going, okay, remember my goals. Remember the big picture. See it down the road. You don't have to see it right now, which because I'm doing so much detail today, it's hard not, it's easy to get lost through the fire, through the, you know, forest through the trees. <laughs> Libra. Libra. Summer. Bask in the joy and light. Libra, you just need to just ha take it easy and have a little party. You've been working hard. You know, cook some steaks, a little glass of wine, or some good cranberry juice. <laughs> I think Libra just needs to really just take a take a breath a minute and realize you it's all going to come together. If you try to make it and force it in your perfectionistic way, you're going to just cramp its style. It's just going to you're going to suffocate it and then it's just going to be it's not going to be fun. <laughs> These messages come out. I I'm just intuitive, you guys. So please let me know below if anything here applies. And sometimes I get talking and I look back sometimes when if I do watch these and I think, what? Where did that come from? Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, mirror guarding. Take time to reflect. This is my favorite card in the whole deck. She's just looking down the universe and she's she's letting it reflect back to her. And she's saying, where am I? What have I got going on here? Where am I going? What does it look like? She's the, and look at the power. Look at the wings. Look at the hair. Look at the health. Look at the vitality. Look at the blue. God. So allow yourself, allow yourself to let the world reflect to you. What are they, what is the world reflecting to you? What are people saying to you? What are they saying about you? To you. About you. Behind your back. Whatever. How is it reflecting you? And take a look at that. Sagittarius. Okay, Sag. Ooh, magic garden. Unlock the magic within. Saggies. You know what? Sagges are very spiritual because they have Scorpio in the 12th house, which is the occult. A lot of people don't realize and don't think because it's a fire sign. It's always on the go. But privately, Sagittarius are very spiritual and they look into deep, deep matters. They don't tell a lot of people what they know, though. And they know a lot more than they tell. They're not, as much as they like to go out and be the know-it-all, and they can be. But, you know, if there's a little Scorpio in the chart, you might find that uh, they're a little more secretive about what they're actually doing. Again, our intentions, all of our intentions. I have to tell myself that every day. Let's keep my intentions out of this. Keep my intentions or my, you know, let me come in with a, with an open mind. Let me hear the other person's point of view. 
let me try to understand from the frailty of man, <laughs> you know, because I want the same compassion and grace given to me. So I have to give it to others. Okay, Capricorn. Here we go. Ah, you guys are watching me, right? There's something going on that side of the wheel. You know what I mean? All right, Caps. I think everyone right now moving into this Aquarius because Mercury's there. We're all kind of feeling our, our little witchy vibe, our little witchy selves. Aquarius. My other favorite card, the She-Wolf Unleashed the Wild Within. This is my other favorite card. This is when things are going to go down now, Aquarius. You're going to break out. You're breaking out of these rules. You're breaking out of the suffocation. You're breaking out of whatever it is that's holding you back. You're breaking out. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. What you do? All right, Pisces. I have a Pisces moon and a rising. So, and I, you know, you guys know if you've been follow if you follow these kind of messages that this can also apply for your sun moon and rising you can kind of pick up some messages or any of the messages that apply to you pisces I'm trying to get a little it's coming it's just ooh, it's sticky pisces doesn't like sticky <laughs> uh, these are sticky cards pisces what is going on all right eh, not feeling it hold on and just okay pisces where <laughs> All right, I see the other light of your own. <laughs> okay. Hi, priestess. Harness your mystic power, Pisces. And it's in reverse. So here's another another card. This, this and this is a perfect example. This is what mystic power is. It's tapping in to the energy, to the spiritual realm. And just, and, and, and allowing yourself to operate there so you can raise your own vibration and not live in the lower levels of anger and resentment and hate and, and impatience and criticalness and road rage and all of those things that take you in. That's living in low vibrational. And you have to do things in your life that help you raise that vibration. There's a lot of things you can do. And I talk about those things. They're so basic. But... Pisces, it's it's tapping into that spiritual side and realizing there's a little magic, even if it's even if it's just picking up a, a lottery card, a little magic in the world. All right, have a great day.